I wanted to go over. Um, nobody ever really showed me this before. I kind of played with it. I know that it exists. I'm sure other guys use it. Um, this is kind of just through experimentation. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of times a guy is turtled up and they're super tight and, you know, we know gator rolls and bravo chokes and guillotines. Um, something that I like to do, and I'll explain uh, how to make it effective. If I don't get the submission, what happens is I usually get somebody's back. So if I'm in a front headlock like this, right, and I'm up on my toes, and you know he's just saying super tight, you know, I'll take, my, I'll get to my knees, I'll take my hands, and I get a meatball grip. Right? The thing that's really important is my hands can't be shallow. All right? I can't have my hands where I can't see them. They have to come all the way through, nice and deep. I'll shuck his arm with my, like, like this is a hinge, I use it as a hinge. So I shuck it across and I try to get this arm really, really deep. All right? Once I have it deep and it can, I can see my palm, all right? I can see my palm, I can see my forehand. All right? What I do is I walk up, all right? walk up like this. From here, I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm gonna put it on his hip, okay? I put it on his hip, just like this, all right? My other foot is gonna come over his back and I'm gonna squeeze, super tight, all right? Until I get a tap, all right? His big escape out of this is to turn and rotate, all right? And what happens is as soon as he turns and rotates, I bail on the submission and I go right to his back. All right, so let me show the submission one last time. You know, I get to a front headlock position over here. I have chin strap control, I'm trying to work, all right? You know, nothing's really going on. Um, I tried taking his back a bunch of times and kept on, you know, reversing it. I get to my knees, I come in nice and tight over here. I want this arm to be long, all right? I grab my a meatball grip, I shuck his arm across, getting in nice and deep. From here, I walk up. All right, I walk up, I want to pass his arm across my hip. I'm going to take my left foot, put it on his hip, okay? My hands are nice and deep, my elbows are tight. Here I'm going to turn and squeeze, all right? His escape over here to alleviate pressure is to keep rotating, rotating, rotating. As soon as he does that, I go right to his back, all right? He rota it rotates right into back control. All right, so it's a submission that um, a guy may be able to escape if I don't get a really, really tight bite on it, but it puts him right into a really bad spot, all right? So showing the transition to go into his back one more time, all right? I have this front headlock position. I take my hands, meatball grip. I want this one to come through. Don't start shallow, all right? Try to make it come deep. I shuck this across. After I shuck this across and I'm nice and deep, I walk up to here, all right? I take my left foot, put it on his hip. Here I start squeezing. He rotates. I let him go right to his back. This hand goes right over his head, and I look to finish with my rear naked choke. I was a little retarded with my hand went back there. That's all right. You guys catch the gist, all right? So one more time um, with that transition, just moving at live speed. All right. Over here. Shut this across. Nice and deep. He starts rotating. All right. That's it for Technique Tuesdays, guys. Give it a shot. Um, any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. I'll try to get out.